I've seen an elephant identify a pregnant person. I saw an elephant walk up to a woman, touch her on the stomach, and then like call the other elephants and be like, wow. yo, this one's pregnant. And they all started, they knew shit that we don't know. She was like, this is cool. She has a baby. And they were like more careful. The elephant thing is so bizarre because they recognize each other after decades of being apart. They're so smart that I think when I look at an elephant, I see a non-human being. I don't look at it like there's animals and there's cockroaches and there's dogs and there's rhinos and cows and all that shit. That's fine. When I look at an elephant, I look at it and I'm like, you, they treat you like an animal, but they shouldn't. I've seen them do things that are so intelligent. I've seen them be so compassionate that I think that we are just not smart enough to understand how smart that they are. Mm. Just because they're not changing their environment and typing things, and we just have a distorted idea yeah. of intelligence. I think that, yeah, well, like you said, it, your intelligence is the ability to interact with your environment and survive in it. And it's like they've gardened all of the habitat that they exist in. Like when you watch an elephant twisting branches and creating that, that environment, and they're going and grazing around on, on everything and moving that forest, and there's mushrooms growing out of their, the piles of shit that they leave. And it's just like, there's so much elephant dung and there's so much complex structure. And, and the thing is, as a human, usually what we do is we watch, either we watch elephants in the zoo, where you're looking at basically like a mentally deranged elephant that's been kept in a box its whole life. Or you're in like a game drive vehicle and you drive up to elephants in the field and they're like, ah, shit, humans. And then they like walk off. Mm -hmm. Very rarely do we get to see elephants alone in nature, problem solving. And so like, then you'll get these articles where scientists will be like, we gave elephants like a, a key and a lock and so many of them couldn't figure it out. It's like, well, that's, you're giving elephants a human problem to solve. You're not giving them an elephant problem to solve. One time I was, I was, I was with a, I had a, a Jeep and it had a whole thing of bananas in it. And I was working with this elephant. He was a, he was a bandit. He had been mugging banana guys there's a, a road that went through the jungle and this elephant was going out and he would stop them he would stop the truck and then the other elephants would come and they would mug the banana guy so by the time he got to where he was going he wouldn't have any bananas so the indian forest department had to show up and they like shackled this poor elephant his name was dharma and they like threw him in elephant jail that's elephant jail um but he one day he caught me with bananas and he came up to the jeep and he's like yo bananas and of course i'm looking up i'm like hey dharma good boy but good boy like pushed me to the side he's like you don't call me good boy but yeah he took the jeep and he shouldered it put it up on two wheels made dead ass eye contact with me and he was like getting rid of the bananas eventually i had to give him the bananas or he was he and he was threatening me he pushed it up just enough and stopped and looked at me wow he was like you want me to do this because <laughs> it seems like you like it when it's this side up i don't know though and I was like, it was it was actually terrifying in that moment because I was like, I can't overpower you. I can't like threaten you with, there's, there's no way for me as a smart human to win this argument. And then he got his bananas. And then the next day when he did it, uh, my friend Neethi had a hack for it. She was the one who was really in charge of this, but she would go and take a cup of water and throw it at his face. He would slap him in the, you know, he'd be like, I hate that. And then he'd like get upset and walk away. <laughs> but. It's surprising, like Jane Goodall changed humanity being like, uh, you know, she discovered that, that animals use tools. And it's like, you watch elephants, they use tools all day long. You know, like I've seen an elephant like rip off a stick and like use that to scratch. And like, oh, yeah. that's a good spot, yeah. They're so, they're just, they're just brilliant. They're just brilliant. They Have know you where seen those uh, videos of uh, elephants painting? <laughs> I'm skeptical already, but no, what are they painting? never seen it? No. They taught an elephant to paint an elephant and the elephant's literally painting a trunk and painting, yeah, it's impressive. Hey. Look at this. So here's this elephant. He puts the paintbrush in the elephant's trunk, and the elephant walks up to the palette, Come on. to Come the canvas, on. and Come starts on. painting. <laughs> starts painting his girlfriend. Look at this. Also, look look at how dexterous that trunk is. Yeah. Look at the control that he has. And see, it's looking like it's it's creating something that mimics what what it is. Yes. That's a better elephant than most people could draw. Yeah, better than like most kids for sure. Like, look at this. It's really incredible. But it's somehow or another, it's it's not being guided, so it it knows how to yeah, do this. I, it just my my gut says that that, that that there's something gimmicky about this. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, like I mean, you could train, you can train a lot of behaviors. But, right. But, but still, how is it training it to make these shapes? Which is so specific. Yeah, it's, it's very specific. It's literally drawing itself. 
I would like an explanation. <laughs> like, like, cause it's really good. Like, look it's how it makes elephant. it. It does the legs. The legs are proportionate. The yeah. mouth is good. The trunk is up. It's like, of course they're trained, but like, what is this thing seeing? Does Wait. it know that? I mean, you have to train a child to paint too. Wait, but you know they they use medicine. Like they've they've documented elephants eating plants that induce labor that African tribes use, and then they they found the elephant doing it. There's published papers on this. What elephants use medicine? What? Yeah. What kind of plants that they find induce labor? There's a plant that that helps induce labor in some African tribes that they chew when mothers are like right on the cusp of giving birth, and this one researcher found elephants eating a ton of this stuff and then having babies. I think that's, I think what I'm struggling to, to get out here is that you can train a dog to do very complex tasks, like a sheep dog, or like that guy who has like, you know, like 400 different things and he goes, you know, get the ball, get right. the sponge, get the thing. Whereas like the fact that elephants have taught other elephants that you can chew on this when you need to have a baby. Right. Like they have shit that we're not realizing. Right. Like we just look at them, we're like, oh, they're giant grass eating oct octopus face things like with butterfly ears, like cool, right. why not? Right. But it's like if we spend that time or the fact that they do the, the, the low vibration communication where they can communicate through the earth, where they rumble and they can send like, you know, there's water over here coming. Like we can't hear. What that. are they doing when they're doing that? They're pounding on the ground. Like how are they? No, they're rumbling and they're sending through those. So they're an body? elephant's skeletal structure. Like it's like the, the, the foot is up. And so the whole bottom of their foot, I once had an elephant step on my foot and it's, it doesn't hurt as much as you think because it's very soft under there. And so they can actually like rumble and transmit information. So they shake their body? No, they're, it's a, it's a, it's a, in, inside of them. And it transmits it through the ground. Yeah. And like vast distances too, miles and miles. Wow. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. No, that this is, this is elephants can communicate in a way that we can't hear using the earth. 